Welcome back to Tech Tours. In today's video, we will be looking at the Beam, which is a telepresence robot and is under the category of IoT. First, let's talk about telecommunication. Telecommunication is the relaying of information via electronic devices, typically encompassing voice, data, and video transmission. For example, any phone call, video conference, and even radio or television broadcasting are considered forms of telecommunication. Next, telepresence technology uses telecommunication to allow users to experience a physical presence from a remote location. Lastly, the Beam is an emerging piece of technology that builds a more interactive telepresence experience that surpasses those of FaceTime and phone calls. The Beam allows users to remotely participate in face-to-face -face interaction. The robot can be controlled with a downloadable Beam software on any Wi-Fi connected device such as a laptop, phone, or tablet. In other words, FaceTime on wheels. Standing at four and a half feet and weighing about 40 pounds, the beam is made up of a variety of different materials to provide a durable but maneuverable robot. At the top of the beam is a high definition monitor where the live feed from your device's camera will display your face, along with two wide angle high definition range cameras which allow for a clear view of the preceding environment. The first camera is located above the built-in monitor and allows for an eye-level viewing of the surroundings. This enhances face-to-face -face interaction. The second camera is located at the base of the built-in monitor, which provides a ground-level view of the area directly in front of the robot. This allows the user to be able to maneuver the beam without running over or bumping into obstacles such as feet or curbs. On the bottom of the monitor are four microphones and one speaker to ensure that you are able to engage clearly with others. For accurate mobility, there's a zoom focus feature which allows you to get a sharper look at your surroundings. This feature can be accessed through your smartphone, tablet, or computer. The battery life of the Beam is around 2-8 to eight hours depending on the model. And the price of the Beam can vary up to $15,000. So how does the Beam connect to IoT? Well let's begin with the Internet of Things. The definition of IoT is used to describe devices that are able to send and receive data via an internet connection. Examples include your iPhone with Siri, the Amazon Echo with Alexa, or any virtual assistant is considered IoT if it has a cellular or Wi-Fi connection. The data from the user's device, such as their video feed and their paths or directions, is sent to the Beam through the internet. The Beam then displays and performs the received data, while also sending the live feed of its surroundings back to the user. Looking at the idea of principled innovation, the Beam has given us the opportunity for collaboration even from remote locations. As we look at the idea of principled innovation, we must understand what it means. So the definition of principled innovation is the ability to imagine new concepts, catalyze ideas, and form new solutions guided by the principles that create positive change for humanity. Using all the features of the Beam, you are able to have an engaging conversation whether it's for school or work. The Beam can be used in the realm of education as a tool for distant teaching and remote learning. As we relate the ideas of principled innovation and the use of the Beam within education, two subtopics which are extremely important within education are collaboration and communication. For some people, the idea of distant teaching and remote learning may be a new concept. Therefore, the educators and students must communicate with each other on what they do and do not know regarding the Beam. This incorporates the idea of collaboration within communication. The Beam allows students and teachers to communicate and collaborate on things that they may have not covered within class or still need help on. In the realm of education, the Beam truly allows students and teachers to collaborate and communicate from any location. At the Polytechnic Lab location, the Beam has been used to help a student with special circumstances attend class. They had an especially long commute and on particular days of the week they only had one class on that campus. In order to avoid unnecessary commute times, the student used the Beam to be able to participate in class activities and discussions without physically being present in the classroom. To wrap up, let's review what we've learned. First, IoT or Internet of Things is used to describe devices that are able to send and receive data via an internet connection. Next, telecommunication is the relaying of information via electronic devices typically encompassing voice, data, and video transmission. Telepresence technology uses telecommunication to allow users to experience a physical presence from a remote location. Finally, the Beam. It allows users to remotely participate in face-to-face -face interactions from any Wi-Fi connected device with the Beam software. 
It is IoT because the data from the user's device, such as their video feed and their paths or directions, is sent to the Beam through the internet. And likewise, the Beam sends video data from its live camera feeds back to the user. Thank you for tuning in to Tech Tours with the Ignited Labs. Feel free to visit us at the labs at any of our three locations on the ASU, Polytechnic, Tempe, or West campuses. Check out our website for more information.